Okay, this is my review of UFC 123. It was a pretty good card. Uh, let's start, first start off with George Saparopoulos versus Joe Lozon. Um, uh, Saparopoulos ends up beating uh, Lozon by submission, I believe, in the second round by Kimura. Um, I think Joe got tired out. He, he got really tired in the second round. The first round, he came out guns blazing and really put a beating on um on George Saparopoulos. But closer to the, I would say in the, I would say close from the beginning of the second, as it got into the later round of the second, he started to really gas out. His punches weren't as clean and flush. Um, and, and finally, Saparopoulos ends up getting Joe on the ground and pretty much using his grappling skills, which are greater than Joe's, and pretty much has his way in. It almost looks like Joe was just so tired that he ended up giving the Kimura to him, but, um, you know, he was just dead tired, and that's what happened. Then we have Phil Davis versus Tim Bosch. Um, Bosch, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Uh, he ends up beating... Uh, beating Tim by submission in the second round by Kamara also. Um, and, and then we have Harris versus Falco. Uh, Falco ends up pretty much dominating Harris um, all the way, I mean, for all three rounds pretty much. He caught him with elbows, knees, got him on the ground in the, at the end of the second round. Um, Gerald Harris got saved by the bell. He was about he was getting choked out. He couldn't even get to his to his corner because he was so out of breath from getting choked out. Um, so Falco really didn't have didn't really push the pace in the third round. Um, he just wanted uh, Gerald Harris to really come to him, and Harris really didn't do that. He decided to you know pick putt shots, do one hit combos, and um, because he was exhausted from being choked and being really dominated the whole match. So that was that. Then we have the big one, Matt Hughes versus BJ Penn. Um, BJ looked great. Um, he ends up knocking out uh, Matt Hughes in 21 seconds in the first round. Um, just comes out there, guns blazing, and catches um, Hughes with, with a flurry of punches and gets him on the ground and just punching him, um, grounded pounds him on the ground. And Matt said he actually it didn't feel like a punch. He actually thought it was a kick or a knee. So, I mean, BJ looked really, really in shape for this. Um, so who knows what's next for Penn. Um, but I would like to see him either stay. Either it's one of two things going to happen. He's either going to go back to lightweight or he's going to stick it around in the in the welterweight division, and um, you know test it out to see if he can actually be, uh, you know, be, have have competition, have, you know, have competitive um, fights in that in that weight class that hopefully will result in him having a match with GSP. But I think that what's better for him is to actually go back down to the lightweight to try to really kind of regain. Um, his belt, especially with um, Ray Maynard on the horizon of maybe beating um, Frankie Edgar, if that happens, and I would love to see those two guys go at it. Then we have Quentin Jackson versus Leo De Machida. This fight was kind of stagnant. It, it really didn't get, really get um, exciting until the third round, and um, you know, and Jackson ends up defeating Machida by split decision. So that's my review of UFC 123. Uh, if you guys like my review, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.